In today's video, we're taking a look at luxury from a different perspective, the Cadillac 472. <laughs> Welcome back to the garage everyone. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be taking a break from the Mercedes until I figure out the next steps on that car. We have a pretty bad oil leak coming from the driver's side valve cover on this vehicle. And you'll note back here, I've already, I had to actually wipe up a large uh, pool of oil off of the back of this valve cover. It was dripping off onto the uh, exhaust manifold and and it was causing some smoke and that was somewhat embarrassing uh, we're also going to be painting the valve covers on this car uh, since they apparently have been painted chevy blue by some previous owner you'll also notice that this one is in pretty rough shape as well it's got some rust and so forth we're going to remove these valve covers we're going to straighten the flanges on the valve covers because a lot of people don't know that you need to do that when you're doing this job if you have sheet metal valve covers uh, they can get a little wavy over time, and if you straighten them out before you put them back on the car, it'll make things a lot better and avoid leaks in the future. We're going to remove the valve covers. We're going to straighten them. We're going to sand them. We're going to paint them. We're going to replace the gaskets, and we're going to reinstall. That's our plan. Stick around. All right, first up, let's go ahead and get the breather off this car. Crankcase ventilation, add this rather odd little filter here. We're going to remove that. And that will free us up a little bit. We'll be able to take the wiring harness and get it out of the way. And this car is 40, what? It's old. <laughs> uh, you, you want to be real gentle when you start moving wires around. I think someone's done some work on the wiring harness in this car in the past. The wires, they look pretty solid. If this was a German car, I'd be really worried. But these American wires, they uh, they tend to hold up pretty good. Yeah, I really don't want to disconnect any wiring just to avoid, you know. Well, we'll take we'll take the accelerator kick down switch plug off, and we'll just sort of tuck everything else back. I guess we could just go ahead and take the coil wire off too. That'll get that out of the way. I've got one of these spark plug wires tire wrapped onto this uh, valve cover stud. And I believe we are wide open to get this valve cover off of the car. All right, here comes the noisy part. found the weak spot finally you don't want to drop anything down in your engine if you can avoid it so you want to be careful about this when you do it oh that's looking pretty good it doesn't have any sludge in it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit I'm liking that that looks all right the top not so much that's pretty nasty we've got to get that cleaned up okay so this is discovery you are looking down inside my 71 Coupe de Ville's 472 engine for the very first time, just like I am, this is the first time I've done this. Right off the bat, I'm looking at something down in there. What is that? There's something broken. What is that? Let's find out what that is. That is a piece of plastic. What would a piece of plastic? Did that come off a PVC valve or something in the past? I'm not sure. We're going to set that aside. There is what's left of the rubber gasket from the crankcase ventilation. Oh man, look at that. We found two rubber gaskets from crankcase ventilation. There's another piece of rubber right there. I can't really get it with one hand. I'll clean that out of there uh, here in a little bit. 
when I get ready to get the gasket material off. All right, it's time for the mundane part, so let's get started. We have to clean up the valve cover gasket next. We're gonna get this valve cover cleaned up. I've already brushed it off some, but we're gonna <coughs> we're gonna speed up our process here. moment of truth we're going to see how straight the flanges are on this uh, valve cover and I can see straight away there is a gap and I can see some light all right we're going to give you a little close-up action of what we got going on right here okay so we have this bolt hole and that bolt hole and this straight edge see that gap it's, it's touching over here it's touching over here and it got a big gap in the middle. That's what we're going to fix. All right, we've been all the way around this uh, valve cover, and I believe I've got it as about as straight as I can get it, really. If you're familiar with working on guitars and uh, the concept of a fret rocker to try to find high frets on a guitar neck, you can relate to this. You put your square here along, this, along the edge, and you sort of see if you can't rock it from side to side, and you can find high spots that way. Uh, yes, there is a fret rocking tool for guitars, if you don't know that already. Anyway. So we've got to pull this gasket out. That's our next step. And then we will, I think we're going to hit this with a shot of brake clean. And then we're going to take the dry grinder and make this all shiny and new and get it ready for Cadillac blue. All right, we've degreased our part here. And now comes the long, tedious task of, uh, of sanding it down. <coughs> By the way, these cheap Ampro pneumatic tools, I got these at Advanced Auto Parts. I don't know. 20 years ago, never failed me. Now you can see the original Cadillac blue color right there. That's about as good as I can get it with the die grinder. Quite the nasty job it is. And yes, I did wear a dust mask and hearing protection during that. So uh, next up, we're going to take this outside and get a little Black Beauty media blasting involved to get down inside the flange and clean up the rest of it. Okay, we don't have a media blasting cabinet, but we have the next best thing, a piece of wood and a garbage can. here's what we have uh, we cleaned it up most for the most part 90% with the die grinder and we took care of the flange with a uh, sandblaster we did have some rust here and there so I hit the uh, hit the valve cover in a 
pretty heavily in certain places with the sandblaster to knock that out. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get whatever last remnants of dust and grease off of this thing and get it ready for Cadillac Blue. Well, all right, we're back to the trash can, but this time for Cadillac Blue. I'll put a link in the uh, description below for this uh, can of paint that I bought online. 16 bucks a can, but I think it'll be worth it to get the car back to the original color. So here we go. And of course, whenever you spray paint, your first coat is going to be very light dust. It's to give the rest of the coat something to stick to. Okay, coat number two. And the bugs have infiltrated already but you should avoid the temptation to get them off. Wait until it flashes over. Take a very small little screwdriver and just sort of scoot them out of the way when you're ready to apply the, the next coat. All right, I believe that is coat, uh, what is it, four? Yeah, something like that. Well, anyway, assuming that no other varmints will light on my fresh paint and get stuck, um, we will be good to go. Once this flashes over, I'm gonna move this inside the shop and we will wait until tomorrow for installation. All right, it's the next day and our paint's had time to cure. We're gonna get the rubber grommet back in there and we're gonna get a gasket and some silicone sealant and we're gonna get this thing on the car. So stay tuned for that. All right, we can't forget about our fasteners. Put a little brake clean on these to get the grease off. Next thing, I'm gonna wire brush them, clean up the threads, and I will uh, put a little Cadillac blue paint on them before we put them on the car. Another aspect of this job is this is a car that I want to keep original or as original as I can, but make it very drivable in a modern world, right? So this car is an all original Cadillac, right? It's, it's a 97, 98, I forget how many miles on it. It's 90, it's like 98,000 miles. This car was driven daily in Ohio by a man who worked at a Cadillac dealership. I'm the third owner, okay? Look at this interior. It's like brand new. That is the reason why I'm going through the painstaking efforts. Paint the valve covers and blah, blah, blah. Put them back to the original color, so on and so forth. These Cadillacs, look at this steering wheel. You notice that on these Cadillacs, usually this little bit, that part right there on the steering wheel, it's usually all crinkled up and gone. This one's in perfect condition. So that's part of the reason why. And the headliner, perfect. Seat belts, never been used. So that's the reason why I'm keeping this car original. Here, the doors, watch this. I just let it go and it shuts completely. There you go, there's a little bit of history. I'll probably do a more in-depth video on this car, but for right now, I'm gonna get these valve covers done. Okay, it's time to get the valve cover gaskets back on these, uh, on the valve covers. Uh, we've got Fel Pro part number 50192 apparently, and this is good for the uh, Cadillac 6 liter, 7 liter, 7.7 .7 liter, and 8.2 liter. So that would be 368, 425, 472, and 500. So I like to use some good uh, silicone sealant on the flange surface to uh, hold the gasket in place while you put it on the engine. We will not put any sealant on the head of the engine. It's just not necessary. Now, it's time for our Felpro gasket. All right, easy peasy, just match up the holes, I reckon. All right, we're gonna let that set up and dry for a little bit before we try to put it on the car. All right, moment of truth, we're gonna get the valve cover on the engine and see what she looks like. Make sure I bang the valve cover on the support beam so I scratch it while I'm installing it. That's always a plus, really. And there we go. 
There we go. All right, that should keep it in place. Let me get the rest of the bolts. All right, let's get the rest of the bolts installed. We have our handy dandy keeper that we made. All right, put a little plastic uh, bag there on the end of the socket to keep from marring the, the head of the bolt that we painted. All right, we've got our bolts and the valve cover uh, hand tight. So right now we're gonna finish the job up and torque them down to the right spec. Okay, so if you don't have one already for your classic car, I recommend buying an original factory service manual. So this is for the 71 Cadillac. Uh, I looked up and found a good one. It, somebody wrote for parts department use only. So that means that this book was in the parts department at a Cadillac dealership. Um, and it consequently didn't all get all greasy and messed up. So in the engine torque specifications, it will ca it calls for the rocker arm cover to cylinder head screws. The threads are one quarter by 20, by the way, and it is 30 inch pounds. All right, so with such a light amount of force, that being 30 inch pounds, uh, you have to be really careful about not going around too many times because you're gonna to continue to squash the gasket. You don't wanna do that, right? So you'll just cause leaks. So I've already been around twice, so we are done. One valve cover installed. I think we're gonna wrap it up now. Uh, the other side is just like this one, obviously, except it's on the right instead of the left. So I think you will agree that uh, we've uh, definitely improved the looks of our engine. I think we're going to call this project done for the weekend. Hey, look, I appreciate everyone stopping by my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.